<laughs> What's up everybody, it's Jamie here from Shopify Masterclass and today we're going to cover how you can write your product descriptions for SEO. This is overall important for your store as having really good and tailored product descriptions can allow your products to rank highly in Google search engine which can then bring you free traffic over time and really increase your sales overall as there's no ad spend associated with these clicks. Writing for SEO overall isn't that difficult, but it does take a lot of time in terms of how you want to structure your products and taking the time to actually think about how to write your product descriptions in a manner that is SEO friendly. In this video, we're going to cover five tips on how you can tailor your product descriptions for SEO. Over each tip, we're just going to go over what it is and how you can implement it in your Shopify product descriptions. Overall, this is going to be a process that's going to bring you more free traffic. You might not notice results at first, but over time, it's going to increase your sales as you're going to be getting more traffic. Now, before we get into this video, I just want to quickly thank our sponsor. Discover ProfitCalc, the affordable and easy to set up Shopify app that crunches your numbers in just one click. It automatically syncs with all your accounts and expenses to calculate your profit, displaying everything in an easy to read dashboard so you understand your business in real time. Start for free on the Shopify app store today. The first tip for your product descriptions we're going to cover today is to write for buyers, not bots. You want to write your product descriptions in a manner that matches your brand and in a manner that really conveys the benefits of the product, not just the features. For example, you don't want to just write the specifications of the product, like this example here on the screen is an Amazon product and the description for the product is fabric, brand new, 100% authentic, original packaging. That's not very good for the buyer in terms of helping them make that decision if they want to purchase the product. It's just details. There's no benefits of the product. There's no description of how it looks, maybe how it fits on you. And overall, it's not beneficial at all. You might as well have no product description there. And it's not going to benefit your SEO as there's no original content there and it looks quite spammy. Another thing to note about writing for buyers, not bots, is to not keyword stuff your product descriptions. You don't want to keyword stuff, meaning you don't want to repeat the same keyword over and over again or the one you're trying to rank for as Google is going to actually look at that as a negative as you're trying to scam the system and it's going to actually downgrade the SEO of that product. So overall, write your product descriptions in a human manner that's very readable and it's for the customer, it's not for Google. And Google is actually going to look at that content more beneficially as it's going to look better in their eyes as it's more original and it's actually geared towards humans and not trying to outrank the system or outsmart the system. The second tip here is to target the right keywords. You wanna be using tools such as Ahrefs here, which can really look at your competitors, help you do a site audit, and give you good keywords to rank for. This is gonna be quite affordable in the long term as it's gonna give you a really good idea of what keywords you wanna be looking for. Another tool here is Ubersuggest, where you can enter in your keyword, such as cotton t-shirt, and it's gonna give you ideas of the ranking, as well as the search volume, because you wanna be ranking for certain keywords, you wanna make sure you're ranking for the right ones. Other tools include Google's Keyword Planner, which is free in your Google AdWords account, you can also use certain sites such as SEMrush to give you an overall idea of the SEO of your product descriptions. The third tip is keyword placement. You want to have a specific number of times your keyword is placed in your product. You have once in the page's URL, you have once in the product description title, once or twice in the body copy, and then once in the alt image of the tag. So if I go to my Shopify store here, I click on this product. So you want to have it once in the page URL, which can be entered in at the bottom here. You can edit the website's SEO, once in the description title, so you have it in the title, once or twice in the body, so you want to include that throughout when necessary for your product's description, and then once in the alt image tag, which means going into the image and adding the alt text, such as water bottle, just so Google's indexing has an idea of what this image is about. The fourth tip is to focus on where your product lies in the low awareness to the high awareness scale. This image here is going to help give you some context on what that means. So in terms of low awareness, the customer doesn't really have an idea of the solution of the product. And on the high end, you have the customer who knows exactly what the product is. So you can really tailor your descriptions to what your product is. For example, if you have a plain cotton t-shirt, the customer is going to have a high awareness of what this product is, what it does, and how it functions. Whereas if you're selling a product that's maybe a unique, one-of-a-kind fabric that has all these special benefits, it's going to be on the low awareness. So you want to tailor your product descriptions accordingly explaining more about what the product is, maybe tell a story about the product, giving a good overall idea of what it is. Whereas on the other end, it's cotton. You don't really need to explain what cotton is or where it comes from. The fifth tip is to focus on unique product descriptions. As you can see, it's very generic and it has no specific details about the product. Google's gonna look at this negatively 
as it's very generic and it doesn't really specify what the product is, how it's unique, and how it can really benefit the customer. So you want to take the time to write good product descriptions for your products. You don't want to cheap out and repeat the same keywords a lot of times, copy and paste certain sections of the text. You really want to create these unique product descriptions, giving a good and full idea of what the product is, how it functions, how it looks, how it's going to feel for the customer when they use it. Although it's going to take quite a bit of time to do that for each of your products, especially depending on the number of products you have in your store, it's going to be very beneficial overall as it's going to add that uniqueness to your products and it's going to make it much easier for Google to rank highly. So overall that includes the five tips I have for you guys today on how to write product descriptions for SEO. To go over them again, it's number one, you want to write for buyers, not bots. So write for humans there. The second one is target the right SEO product keywords. The third one is keyword placement. The fourth one is where does your product lay in the low awareness to high awareness scale. And the fifth one is focus on unique product descriptions, taking the time to thoughtfully write them out. So if you found any of these tips useful, comment which ones you're gonna be using today. And if you haven't yet, smash that like button below. If you have any questions, leave a comment. And if you want to, please subscribe as it greatly helps our channel here. Thank you guys for watching.